Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nicklix. In this video, I am going to tell you how to insert data into the database via tkinter form. I will make a form that will contain two values, two text box. One is of name and the second is of marks and a button. And by, uh, by clicking on a button, uh, the name and marks will be uh, we will pick up their values and after picking up their values, we are going to insert this value into the database. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, do click on a subscribe button and do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates of technical education and programming tutorials. So uh, and if you have not uh, watched my earlier video of Python in which I am like uh, stated you which I have stated you all the basic concepts of MySQL and how to install MySQL, uh, PY MySQL library into your uh, uh, this Python file. You can just watch uh, the older video on my channel. So moving to this part, like uh, first of all, I need to import one directory that is import PY MySQL. So this need to be installed. How you can install this? I can just uh, give you a short uh, like uh, remember like it's file moving to the settings then project interpreter then you have to click on a plus you have to search here py mysql right now i have installed this earlier so it's not showing in the white color uh, if it is not installed then you have to click on an install package after successfully installing it it will be showing you on this window so uh Import PY MySQL and now I'm going to create uh, like I can say a database form inserting into my SQL, right? So moving to this part, first of all, I need to open a connection. Uh, before opening a connection, let's make a form that it be label one and label i can just say here as window and uh, in the window i will be using text name and uh, dot place place you can define x equals to 10 y equals to 50. and now the entry one it's ent i need an entry box so entry it should be window and uh, look, uh, if you have to pick up the value of uh, this entry box, you should uh, like uh, this, uh, like in the label, I have just put place with the help of this dot, uh, this, uh, this dot function, or you can say uh, this dot helps in combining this label declaration and the place and its layout. But if you want to pick up the value of this entry box, you need to define it in the separate lines. So entry will be, uh, if you want to pick up this value, then you have to define entry in one line and its place would be defining in another line. So it is mandatory as basically uh, if you want to pick up the value for that. So X will be 150 and Y is equals to 50. And I'm going to just copy this, uh, let it be label 2, x equals to 10 and y should be 70 and let it be entry 2 and x will be 150 and y will be 70. And now I can just uh, like have a run on this. So I have displayed a name I have not change here entry 2 and like marks it's entry 1 and it's entry 2 so so here my the forms is form is being made its name and its marks right so explaining you this that's entry 1 x, x is uh, this first of all the label 1 x is 10 and y is 50 entry 1 x is 150 and y is 50 and in the case of label 2 x is 10 and y increases it comes to 70 and in entry 2 
uh, in level 2 it's x10 and y17 entry 2 it's x150 and y70 so this is the name and marks values being placed uh, now moving to the next part so uh, this is a form uh, before making a button let's open the connection so i can say here as connect variable py mysql dot connect host equals to localhost user equals to root password equals to blank and my database is let's check out the database uh, what it is so database is my python database so python database and now i will be opening the cursor see like if you are not getting uh, like uh, these all are explained the x basics are all explained in my video in one of my database video of python you can check it in the playlist of python and you can get uh, this all why we are using uh, in that i have been explained every each and everything so next connect cursor uh, i have opened a connection variable uh, to my python database and cursor is used to execute the query so i have opened the cursor function get a reference of cursor in the cursor variable and now i'm going to define a function that is save data and we can just check uh, print test testing function so testing function will be there and uh, i can just here put uh, so testing function i can just put here a button button equals to button should be placed in window and uh, it will be text will be save data and command equals to save data so uh, we need to place a button button dot place equals to x equals to 100 and y equals to 90 so we can just check that everything is working fine so i have made a name and marks i have made a button a button will be attached to a window and its its text will be save data and by clicking on a save data it will be calling a function called save data and it is placed between x equals to 100 and y equals to 90 so by clicking on a save data function save data button the testing function has been has been called so now i am going to get the values of entry for that uh, we have a function called dot get so marks ent to dot get and here i can say as cursor dot execute uh, you can say insert into student we have a table as student table name marks values and we can say here as single quote we need to double quote in order to uh, break this query and in this query i'm going to give name variable that i have get from entry one and next will be marks variable that i have got get from entry two so after executing this uh, we need to call the commit function on connect our my connection and after that i'm going to print the record insert so we can just run this so here i can say here as john 1000 so save data by clicking on a save data i have got a message of record inserted and if i'm going to check in my backend uh, by clicking on a browse button the values are being placed in my database as john and thousand so having a 
quick review about all these things is that how things working so i have created the label and the entry entry i have placed it with the help of place function then i have created a save data function and a button by clicking on a button it is going to call a function called save data while clicking on a save data entry one that is the name of this text box the value will be get dot get is a function of entry that will pick up a value which we have written and will be saved in my name variable same in the case of entry two whatever the user writes over here after clicking on a save function it is being fetched in the marks variable then i have like insert into the student table name and marks values uh, the name and the marks so in order to save it in the database we need to call a commit function uh, that is to be called on this connection variable that have a reference of this database python database and in the last uh, the message has been appeared as record inserted so in this way you can <clears throat> in this way you can add your data into your database via tkinter form so i hope you like this video and do like and share to subscribe to my channel and if you like the my video do uh, like and share my video too. thanks for watching the video